Hello everyone, I'm Evan from We Learn to Share. Today is our second class of pre-calculus. Today we are going to learn functions too. Are you ready for the class? If you're ready, let's start. What we are going to learn today is composition and inverse of function. Then let's see the composite function first. I will assume three sets x, z, y here and function g is x g x to z and function f is z to y and i assume that 1 to a to beta and 2 to c to gamma and 3 to b to alpha when we want to find a function h x to y then the function should go through g of x first and go through f of x which can be written as f of g of x and we can denote this function as f and a dot and a g of x which is read as f composed with g or f of g of x. So this is what we call composite function. When we go through x into f composed with g, we turn it turn into it turn out f of g of x. So f of g of one is equal to f of a, which is equal to beta, and f of g of two is equal to f of c, which is equal to gamma and f of g of 3 is equal to f of b which is equal to alpha and now we know definitions of composite functions so we are going to learn some properties in composite function f composed with g is not always equal to g composed with f here i have an, I have an example if f is 2x and g is x squared then we can know f composed with g is equal to just 2x squared and g composed with f is equal to 2x squared, which is equal to 4x squared. So you know f composed with g is now always equal to g composed with f. Now the second one is f of g in parentheses of h is equal to f of g of h in parentheses. And they both can be written as f of g of h of x. Okay, and third one is f composed with i is equal to i composed with f which is equal to f yeah yeah yes we know that f of f is x to y and i is an identity identity function so now we know f composed with i and i composed with f are equal to f okay now we know the properties of functions the composite functions then let's do some practice together now, uh, yeah, there are four questions below. You can post this video and do it by yourself. So in here, f of x is equal to x plus 3, and g of x is equal to 4x. So f of g of 1 is equal to f of 4 times 1. f of 4 is equal to 4 plus 3, which is equal to 7. And number 2 is g of f of negative 2 is equal to and number two is g of f of negative two is equal to f of negative two plus three, which is equal to g of one and which is equal to four times one and it's four. So now let's see the third one. And in third one, it's the com composition of same function. So f of f of three, which is equal to f of three plus three, is equal to 6 plus 3 which is equal to 9 yeah it's easy right so let's see the number 4 this is composition of three functions so f of g of f of negative 1 so which is equal to f of g of 3 minus 3 minus 1 so which is equal to f of 4 times 2 which is equal to f of 8 plus 3 so this is answer is 11 yeah, it's easy right now let's see the number six yeah number six we have to find f of g of one and g of f of three so let's find f, uh, f of g of one first so g of one in the graph we can see that it's equal to three and in the graph of f we can see f of three is equal to three so we can find f of g of one is equal to three and how about g of f of three f of 3 is equal to 3 in the graph and g of 3 is equal to 1 according to the graph so now 
I think you may understand what is compositional functions. So let's learn uh, in, learn about inverse function next. So yeah, if there are two sets x and y, and f of x is x to y like this, so we are going to find its inverse function g y inverse function g is y to x. So g of a is equal to 1 and g of b is equal to 3 and g of c will be equal to 2. So as you can see here, inverse, inverse function is opposite, is kind of opposite of parent function. So and we can write down it look like a negative 1 power of f which is written as read as f inverse. So y is equal to f of x and x is, will be equal to f inverse of y. So, <coughs> and if a function has an inverse, it should be a bijective function. Because by, if it is bijective function, then we can restrict the function's domain and codomain and correspond it to exactly one function value. So, if a function ha want to have its inverse, it should be bijective function. So, let's see its some properties now. The graph of a function and its inverse function are symmetrical about y equal to x. So here, yeah, in this fun function f, f of 1 is 0 and f of 3 is 1. So f of f inverse of 0 is 1 and f inverse of 1 is 3. So we can draw its graph like this. Now let's see the second one. F composed with F inverse is equal to F inverse composed with S is equal to I, which is equal to which is identity function. Actually, F is x to y, and if inverse should be yeah y to x, and so if if we do compose composition of these two functions, then it will become x to x or y to y, which are just in in identity functions. Okay, and let's do the third one. And yeah, third third one is f inverse of inverse is just f. Actually, yeah, f is x to y, and f inverse is y to x. So inverse function of f inverse is x to y, yeah, which is just equal to x. So the last one is f composed with g inverse is equal to g inverse composed with f inverse. Here, g is x to y and f is y to z. So f composed with g is equal to x to z. And if we the inverse of it, and it is z to x. So now we let's see the g inverse is y to z, y to x, and f inverse is z to y. So g inverse composed with f inverse is equal to z to y to x which is just z to x so this is this concept of inverse function and let's do some practice yeah you may do this three cross three yeah problems first okay now then let's see this first two questions yeah, number seven here okay there's a function negative one negative two one Negative one three zero five one seven two nine. Okay, it says find the range and domain of given function r. Okay, the range here yeah, we can see it's y value so one three five seven nine, and domain is minus two a uh, negative two negative one zero one two. Okay, see so right, and next one is the find the range and domain of the inverse. Yeah. Mm. Actually, we are looking for its inverse. So its range, its y and x should be opposite position. Uh, the range of original function should be its domain inverse of a uh, domain of inverse function, and the domain of original function will be the range of inverse function. So range of inverse is 
my negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and the domain of inverse is one, three, five, seven, nine. Okay, now let's see the number eight. It says draw graph of inverse of given function. So, as you can see here, f of x, it has some points here. So one or uh, one zero and three two and six three. So in inverse function, you can say that it has the points of zero one and two three and three six. So when we draw this function, uh, symmetrical about y equal to x, so we can draw it like this. Yeah, I think it's quite similar. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, actually, it could be now not really a create. But yeah, I tried it hard. So yeah, this is the end of chapter of function. And I hope you have learned something from this class and enjoyed this class. So if you're interested in further classes and you like this video, then please and like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then please leave a comment so that I can answer you. Okay.